Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Grass Spreading with Fred. We've still not made any progress since the last episode, despite me spending some time here. This has to be one of the slowest processes I have ever seen. <laughs> but on a serious note, welcome back to another episode of Building with the Fret. And today, we are going to be working on a new storage room inside the cave here. We're going to be building a storage room for all of our various items and blocks. Last episode, we worked on the sawmill over there which is our bulk storage area that's for items we have a lot of all those chests and chests of cobble and sand and dirt and all that type of stuff this one is going to be a more localized storage room for smaller amounts of things so think you know a couple double chests for this and that all of our items mob drops food uh you know tnt ingots ores all that type of stuff we can store here in the in the cave base. Thank you, by the way, for all the feedback on the last episode. The sawmill was very well received. I am very pleased about that. Hopefully, I can continue to make builds that impress you guys and teach you, hopefully, some new skills or new ways of thinking about things that you might not have thought about before. So, uh, the storage room itself going to be located right in here, just below the entrance there. We're going to need a lot of space in order to do this. So space means a TNT, which I left in the box up there. But I'm going to go ahead and clear out a space here in the wall with some TNT. And then we'll talk about how we're going to put it together. There we go, there's some space. That's perfect for what we need for our storage room here. Just got a temporary path from the tree farm to it for now. I've marked out some spaces here using this cobble. This is going to be in the middle here is where the chests are going to be. And then on the outside is uh, where some of the, the decorative blocks are going to go. And I thought we would build the storage room design together. And I would talk a little bit about the storage room and uh, how I came up with this. So with this storage room, normally for all the other builds more or less in the world, I've used some form of reference. This one, I just sort of came up with in my head, if that makes sense. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to come up with a reasonably interesting and compact way of storing the chests. Because the chests, of course, cannot be stacked. They have to be alternated. And you can kind of use that pattern, which will compact it in uh, to a point. But obviously, you're going to be limited to what you can do. Which is fine. You know, it's fine. Um, okay, so what I want to do now is I want to make some steps. Let's just make a bunch. So we have some. I'm also going to make... I'm going to make a bunch of uh, slabs as well, because we're going to need those. I'm going to need quite a few slabs. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and make three stacks. I'll always find use for them, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Even if we made a few too many. Let me get my dirt out here. So, the way that this works is... There's going to be a stair there. Each one of these basically has a stair on. <laughs> Pretty much. And then in the middle here, above the stairs, is going to be a stone slab. That goes up for three blocks, up to there. And I don't think this will work quite yet, because for some reason, 
if I put a full block over a stair... I don't understand why this is a thing, but if you put a full block over a stair, it will in fact uh, remove the stair, which kind of sucks. So, let me uh, put this in here. I'm going to get creative with some steps here. And that is sort of our rough shape to this. Now, there will be some stairs where these cobble blocks are. However, because of that bug in the game at the moment where stairs reset, I'm just going to have to make it full blocks. And that's going to mean for now, it has two less chests. Alternatively, if I want the chests now, I would have to do a slab instead. I would have to do this, which... You know, it's not the worst, but I do think it looks a bit odd because it doesn't connect. I'm pretty sure if I uh, if I try to do a stair here, it's just going to... Yeah, it becomes a full block. So, I can't really do much about that at the moment. But this is the basic design for one of the storage cubbies. And I have four of them planned along here. We're also going to build a water entrance and exit from the upper layer, my entrance there. And we'll have a path that goes out to the tree farm as well. Uh, I wanted to get creative with arches as well. I think arches are something that are quite interesting as a shape to work with. And we are somewhat limited to the designs of arches we can do because we do not have say stairs for example that go upside down or something like that but I still think uh, this is this is interesting and it's a bit different you know kind of spaced out we've got a nice area out front here I'm gonna spread some grass down here and might even get a tree or two growing and we can do some stuff with water as well which I think will add a lot of interesting uh, variety to this one thing we're going to do here is I can uh, I can show you if I build back into the wall here. We're going to have a little piece like this. And we're going to have water coming down. Uh, oops. We're going to have uh, yeah, we're going to have water coming out of this. Kind of like that. But uh, underneath here, what we're going to do is we're going to put some slabs. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have a little water feature there. This is just to give the build some color. The one thing with this is it's very gray in shape and uh, gray in shape gray in color and there's not a lot of colors that we can really mix in here to give this place some color uh, we're going to have some grass obviously that'll give us some nice greens in here we'll have the water which will give us a very nice deep blue um, flowers and stuff can add touches of, of red and yellow as well we're going to have some wood in here which will kind of bring a, a yellow earthy tone in uh, but that's that's one thing especially in these old versions here that can be very tricky to design around is the extreme lack of color options So we, we try and get it in where we can and just adding something like this can really Really make a big difference I'm gonna have to uh, smelt up some smooth stone as well uh, But we can kind of get a feel now for what it's gonna look like now. We've done one of these arches we're going to build a bigger arch with the smooth stone slabs around the edge here. We can probably go ahead and uh, do that now. And uh, there's going to be like a pattern to it that we can follow. So if I go up here and above this, we are going to add enough slabs either side to go up two blocks. And then we're going to add this here and here. And it's one block. 
And then in the middle, above this, we go up a further two blocks. Now we're almost at the roof here that you can see. Uh, then off to the side, I'm going to have to, uh, can I make that? Yeah. We are going to set up a slab here and here that dips down into a full block there slabs and then here and here we'll do the same thing on the other side just got to nudge our way out here and here into a full block and then here and here now behind all this I'm probably going to change this out to be uh, cobblestone And we'll have some smooth stone on the higher level. Yeah, you can kind of see the shape coming together here. Still got a little bit of polishing up to do on it. Obviously, the <laughs> this uh, being missing right here is kind of a big deal. Uh, but we can add that. And then we'll be ready to add our next water level to it as well. A little water source there. Yeah, I'm liking this. I think this is the right way to go. Let me work on this for a little bit longer, and then I'll be able to show you the finished product. So, there's what it looks like with the completed shape all the way across. With the water in and some additional details. I'm, I'm really, really liking this. The one thing it does kind of lack right now though is, uh, is a little bit of color so we're going to bring in some color here and uh, add some nice detail to it uh, firstly uh, we've got some torches down here I'm going to make this out of wooden planks we'll do something like this the torches in there and there's going to be chests in these blocks but I will open this up and put some wooden planks down in here and that one too why not uh, I've got an axe let's use it <laughs> let's open this up and yeah, so there's going to be chests in here. Let's change this out as well. Let's put some glass over top of those there. Put that in there. And what I decided to do was put together a little pattern in the floor. Just to give us a little bit of color. And also a little bit of interest. We've got some nice interest on the wall. Let's do something similar on the floor as well. Let me show you how I did this pattern here. I think it's kind of cool every once in a while to uh, to mix things up a bit. I haven't really done something like this yet. I'm probably still going to need the axe. Probably not going to need the shovel though. So we'll do something like that. That and that. Okay. The stairs kind of challenge this this whole piece here, but we'll, we'll try our best <laughs> to do what I want to do here. I'm going to need to make some more steps. Some wooden ones. Oop. Let's, uh, let's make... Yeah, let's go ahead and make uh, a stack of wooden steps. I'm going to need a, a few of them, I'm sure. There we go. That'll keep us in business for a while. And if we place some here and here, what's that going to do? Okay. Uh, it's not really what I wanted, but I think we can... I think I can make it go like that, can't I? That'll make it go the way I want it to. 
Yeah, there we go. So that's the shape I was looking for. And then... Along this bit here, we're going to have a log. And then... A plank. And then a step. I'm going to probably have to spend some steps to fix all of this. And then the pattern kind of repeats itself. So we'll do the same thing on this side. A log. One of those. One of those. And out here is going to be where the sort of dirt and grass comes in. So I'll be able to uh, continue to replicate this along here. But that's the basic pattern. Now, in the actual storage cubby itself, we're going to change this out to be cobblestone but what I'm interested in doing is uh, let's get rid of that dirt it's up there open this up Oops. There we go. Do something like this. I'm going to get really creative here. I've got an idea. Just for a little bit more color again. It's important, you know, to get a bit of color. We'll open that. I'm going to bring the cobble down here. And again on, on this side as well. We'll fill in that back piece. This we're going to change to be cobble. I'm going to bit up at the top there. Let's open this. Now I'm going to need these buckets. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm going to make a little infinite spring here. So I don't have to keep going back up top for it. Put that in. And that in again. It was like we never took it. Now let's <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. And what I want to do here now is go up one block even further than that. I'm going to do this action. We're going to have a nice little water column in the back as well. That will give us another little bit of blue in there. Let's go ahead and make some chests. So that we can actually put the chests in the storage. And we'll see how it looks. I think that is good. There we go. And four. I'm probably going to need more than that. Uh, I'll be able to do seven double chests right now. Increasing a further two when uh, when the stair bug is fixed. So yeah, we put those in there like that. Then we have a chest go over top of this. Totally forgot that covers that up, but uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't think about that. That was one of the things that I totally did not think about. We'll put one in there. So I need one in the middle here, and I can't fill these in yet. So I need one more double chest in the middle. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. It's going to look a bit funky to start with because of that. Okay, let me figure out. I guess I'm going to have to do something like this. Place it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that's going to be our little storage area. And now we have plenty of space. Eventually, we'll be able to fill those gaps in. What I may do is I may just put chests in there anyway. Even though I can't put anything in them. So at least the pattern continues. Looks a little weird without it. I've got to be honest. 
And I'm going to have to figure out some lighting around here still. Down on the lower level, obviously we can't have torches there. Maybe I'll do something um, in that hole there, perhaps. Or we'll come up with something uh, somehow in all of this. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and replicate this pattern now on the other storage sections. And I'm going to put some dirt down. And then we will come back and look at what we've done. And there we have it. Look at that. It's really coming together now. Very uh, pleased with how the storage room is looking. Let me show you what I've done here. I've extended the pattern all the way along here. So we've got that cool pattern. Uh, we've got, obviously, the chests in there fully completed I added this little feature this is a water drop uh, I don't die when I fall in it and that is right up next to where the infinite spring is and my old little setup used to be so we can get down in here quickly but the one thing we can't do now is get out of here quickly my options are either ride that up which is incredibly slow or go up there Walk all the way around uh, and up there. So we're going to remedy that now. And we're going to build a water ladder. And I actually wanted to show you how to build one. Because I think it's something that you may find useful. Especially if you're playing older Minecraft. Now, the first thing to note is you're going to need to build a regular ladder. I've already gone ahead and cleared out the blocks here. And I know that my ladder is uh, this tall. And we're going to open this up here so I can get across safely. So yeah, my, my ladder entrance will be right there. Uh, you need to make it three wide. I've got some smooth stone here to fill this in. Now, what you will want to do is, on blocks in between the ladders, you want to fill those in. All of those need filling in, just like that. I'm going to get rid of the dirt. Uh, let me... this. Here's skeletons for some reason. Okay. There we go. Got rid of that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add water. Not down here, are they? Nope. I hear them, but no clue where they are. Making me nervous. <laughs> you put water in each of these blocks. Now, here's something important when uh, when building this. That is, it must be built in the south or east configuration. And nothing else. So do keep that in mind. So for me, my world, south and east of those two directions. So the water has to face either this direction or that direction. If you build it in any other direction, it will not work. Now, what you may see if you do research online is southwest. And it's a little confusing because in this version of Minecraft, directions were not well-known, shall we say. They were not very well-known. There was no, like, F3 screen to point out which direction things were, and there was no... There was no other way of really telling. And the sun and moon set in the north and south. Eventually, that was corrected to how it is here on Earth, with the sun and moon... Uh, rising and setting in the east and the west 
But because of that, a lot of what people consider to be southwest is actually southeast. So if you are in a... If you were in a game and you're unsure which direction it is, I'm pretty sure southeast is negative on both coordinates. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't have coordinates here, so I, uh, I will let you know. Now, we all know what a regular speed of a ladder is, but if I, if I do this and you, uh, you lean against the ladder... Oh, sorry, you lean against the water. So if you push against that, you'll ride the ladder up at a much, much faster speed. That is way faster than just taking a normal ladder. And we're up. So that's how you build one. Very, very simple, very easy to do, but massively improves transport. This is my water drop here, which takes us down. And then we have the, the water ladder that takes us up as well. So now, I can take down the old water pillar that was there, which, uh, I'm not sure where that's set up, right here. So that can go now. And I also wanted to point out something else. Let's take the water drop down again. And that is uh, these lava lights here. I chose to put some lava underneath the glass to light up the area. It is slightly brighter than, uh, than the torches. And you'll notice I have wood right here, wood stairs and wooden blocks. Fire spread around lava works on a three by three around the lava itself and a five by five on the block immediately above it. So this is out of range just um, but if I think you might be able to get a fire on the edge of this block Like if I was to break this it might be able to set on fire right here But because I have a solid block in there it will never set fire It's a three by three and then a five by five if you build outside of that radius you are fine If you fill in blocks inside of that you are also fine. So this is this is how I've done that uh, In order to prevent fires from spreading what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, kind of continuing on that theme of accessing different parts of the base from the storage room. I'm going to dig a tunnel through here that's going to connect up to the tree farm. And then with all of my immediate paths connected, I can work on shaping the cave the way I want to. And I can also uh, figure out whatever's next after that all right so i'm still working on the storage room here but i thought i would uh, cut you in on what it is i want to do now uh i want to try and increase the rate at which the grass spreads here because it's still not spread even one block since the time i've been working on this whole storage room and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to expand the path here to be in three blocks wide instead of one block wide so it has more potential grass tiles to uh, to spread to that's what I'm hoping anyway that's that's the theory here so fingers crossed this does the trick if it does not then I'm, I'm not sure what we're gonna do um, so if you need tips on how to spread your grass, make more dirt. <laughs> Will mean more cleanup for me later, but I'd rather just have the grass now. It's been like this for, well, as long as we've had the cave, pretty much. So hopefully this, uh, this does the trick. And there we go. There's the roof on the storage area here. We've worked on the cave portion of it for a while now. Looking very, very good. I'm very pleased with how it's turned out, actually. The way the roof kind of blends into the storage room. We've got the, the nice walls on here. Uh, I've kind of tidied up this section over here a little bit, too. This is to the water ladder, which I think is very, very cool. 
We got that going. I might still move this. Possibly. I might still move this. Just to make it line up a little bit better. But the problem is if I do that. Like this goes back two blocks here. I'd have to kind of reshape this again. So maybe I'll just leave it as it is for now. Or if I was going to do anything with it. I would probably. You know change the direction or something. To it possibly. But that's good for now. I'm very, very pleased with uh, with this. We got the little pathway here. Got some lava lighting in and the nice staircase. Still got to get rid of that torch, but other than that, got a nice pathway down to the tree farm here. Uh, the grass spreading is going much, much better now. We've got it to over there, which is very good. And, you know... It's been much faster than the hours and hours and hours I was waiting for it before. And it continues to keep spreading. It's probably a bit dark here. We'll give it some light so that it can keep continuing to spread down here. And then eventually onto the storage room itself. And I think that's about it for what I've done. In terms of how I shaped the, uh, the roof there... What I went ahead and did was I tried to start with the walls and I worked around the entrances. So there's an entrance up here to the tree farm and then there's the, the water ladder there. And I just tried to layer the walls and follow a specific curve. So here you can see I kind of followed like this semicircle shape, which then is matched on that side. And then here we've got like this shape. And I sort of shaped it around the edge there then on the roof i built a load of scaffolding out of dirt in front of the storage room here and i uh, i started out from the back and again tried to do that semicircle shape across two layers and then i just went a bit further back on the following bottom layer and i added some uh, some gaps as well just to kind of break up the the flat roof texture there and i think that looks pretty cool I did move all of the items as well from some of my other storage rooms into, into this one. So the house up above, the starter house, is empty now. There's nothing in there at all that needs to be moved except for, like, some of those tools and things that I'm saving. But, like, in terms of useful items, they're all in here now. Uh, the sawmill I've emptied out of anything that isn't bulk storage... The only other storage area I have now, hello, is at the mob farm, which isn't finished yet. Not quite sure where he spawned. Maybe up there? Probably the only spot I could think of. Like right here or right there. Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Do something about it. If that had been a creeper, that could have been a real problem. But yes, all in all, I'm very, very pleased with the storage room. Hopefully you are as well. I'd love to hear any feedback you have on it. Of course, I do still need to add some chests, and we will add some decorative detail around the front there. But I'm just trying to get the grass to spread to it. And uh, I want to finish the mob farm. And then once I've finished the mob farm, all of the extra chests I have over there, I can bring over here, and we could use... Uh, and kind of reuse in the main storage room. But I think that is going to be that for today. I think in the next episode what I would like to do is start a new idea I have. Still in the cave down here. I want to start work on the patch museum idea that I've got. Which uh, I want to put right in here. Right at the entrance. And we'll kind of tie it into this water ladder thing. Because it's a little bit of a mess up here still. It's convenient for now, but it needs cleaning up. So we'll probably start that in the next episode. And I've got some ideas for how I want to go on dealing with that. So should be very interesting. If I sound a little bit more nasally than usual, it's because I kind of... I got a little bit under the weather the last few days, which has delayed me finishing up this episode. The last clip you saw was three days ago, I think. I'm, I'm just back to... To being able to record again, hopefully by next episode I'll be completely back to normal. Anyway, hopefully you have a, a good rest of your day, and hopefully you enjoyed the episode. 
And I will see you again in the next one. Take care.